At a time when the Army is conceiving the FICV project under the strategic partnership model, in which the Indian vendors can collaborate with foreign companies, the DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has now pitched its case for the 1,750 Future Infantry Combat Vehicles project worth 60,000 crore rupees. The RDO officials are having rounds of meetings and are giving presentations to the Army and the Ministry of Defence officials, under which it has proposed that the DRDO and Army Design Bureau can jointly develop the future infantry combat vehicle, and once the design is finalised, the private industry can be selected as a production agency, and the FICV will start delivery in four years of signing the contract. Meanwhile, defence officials believe that even if the project gets the go-ahead in the next few months, the induction of the system into the army might not be possible before 2028. The DRDO has completed the ground trials of the X Band ASA maritime radar, and it will soon enter flight trials on board the DRDO A319 test bed and is expected to be operationally ready by the end of 2022 or early 2023. The maritime patrol radar consists of 800 transmit-receive modules, and is the primary sensor in maritime surveillance, as it provides critical information such as small boat detection vessel detection and classification, coast imaging and coastal activity. The X Band ASA maritime radar will be equipped on the 6 C 295 based multi mission maritime aircraft and 6 Netra Mark II airborne early warning and control system. The two indigenously developed precision glide bombs Goraf and Gotham has now been approved for mass production. The 910 kg Gora features deployable wings, and has a range of 100 km, while the 550 kg Gotham is a non-wing version, and has a range of 30 km, but its range will also be enhanced in the future. Both these glide bombs have received airworthiness certification from the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification, and is seen as a product with a big export potential. The DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment will power its TAPAS PH-201 medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle with a new 220 horsepower diesel engine that is currently being developed by the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment that makes it twice as powerful than the existing engine. These more efficient engines will increase its endurance and will also increase its payload carrying capacity to carry anti-tank guided missiles and laser guided munitions. In collaboration with the Society of Indian Defence Manufacturers, the Indian Army has launched unmanned ground vehicle strike experiments that include surveillance, tactical reconnaissance, kinetic effect and evacuation, as well as star experiments that include surveillance and tactical reconnaissance. The experiments are scheduled in November 2021 and December 2021, that will facilitate indigenous developers to demonstrate their capabilities, and the army to field exploit them with tactical subunits. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has offered a modernized package for upgrades to IL-76 aircraft for all its global operators including India, that will significantly expand its possibilities and performance specifications. The overhaul and modernization upgrade of 17 IL-76 heavy lift aircraft of the Indian Air Force might cost around 4,000 crore rupees, in which the older D-30 KP engines will be replaced by more modern PS-90 A-76 turbofan bypass engines along with modern avionics, that will extend the service life of the aircraft fleet by another 15 years. United Aircraft Corporation is also ready to consider the opportunity of renewing the fleet of IL-78 aerial tankers of Indian Air Force, that are made on the base of IL-76. The next edition of Defence Expo 2022 will take place in Gujarat from 11th of March 2022. The 12th edition of Defence Expo will be the first ever major defence show in the state 
while the last edition of the event was held in Lucknow, UP. The navies of India and Russia have concluded the 12th edition of the Indra Navy 2021 exercise in the Baltic Sea, while the Army version of the exercise will be held from 1st August to the 13th of August in Russia's Volgograd region. The maritime exercise took place over two days, and included anti-air firings, replenishment drills, helicopter operations and boarding drills. Oh, Mark, it.